South Carolina, after nearly 30 years in power, James Clyburn has the sixth poorest district among 435 districts in the country. We, his black constituents, have the shortest lives, lowest wealth, and own less homes now than we did during Jim Crow. Do we not deserve better? Greg Marcel Dixon has a plan to repair black America. Reparations, reforming heirs' property, reinstating the Freedmen's Bureau. We deserve better than James Clyburn. Let's vote like it. Vote for Greg Marcel Dixon to repair black America to fix America. Hi guys, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. My name is Clarice Ndige and today I bring you guys another fresh news story from the continent of Africa. This one is from my home country, Cameroon. So this is a sad case of kidnap. So basically what happened is this um, a medical doctor who a practicing medical doctor in Cameroon called Dr. Disongo Olivia was kidnapped by some men of the underworld a couple of months and eventually got released by the police. So what happened was that, um, I mean, we were like that, that fateful evening, pictures circulated of Dr. Olivia in with like, I mean, with her mouth sealed and her hands tied, her feet tied. And the pictures were, were was, um, sent to her family by her kidnappers. So what happened was this, she got called, how, I mean, the way they kidnapped her was that they called her and told her, you know, gave her a fake proposal, told her that they were proposing a better job for her. And they said, okay, they wanted to have a one-on-one a -on -one interview with her. So they asked her to come to a certain location with her documents. So, so she knew she was going there for a job interview, only for her to go there and be kidnapped by some young guys. The eldest among them was 27 years old, and then the youngest was 22 years old. So they kept her in that room. They took that picture of her of her mouth sealed and her hands tied and then sent it to her family members and told them that if they don't pay a ransom of 200 million francs, which is about $100,000, that if, if her family doesn't pay the amount of money, they were going to kill her. So um, I think what her family did was wise because immediately they got the pictures, they posted, just, they sent it to the to social media, so they posted it online and the pictures were trending, the picture was trending on social media. So. Uh, they got the police involved and the police started investigating. So a few days after, they rescued her from the hands of the kidnappers. She was in a guest house, you know, where she was kept. The kidnappers were kept her there expecting her family to pay the ransom. But the police did a good job and actually found her and they, they rescued her. So when she got rescued, the, the kidnappers got caught, four of them. Um, sorry, not four of them, I think six, five, six of them got caught and they narrated what, what they did or how they kidnapped her. And they said the elders, the person who, the, the, the masterminder of the, of the whole kidnap scheme, um, came forward to narrate how he got the idea. So he said a couple of months ago, his family member was sick and she was, and the family member was, it was a guy, and the family member was um, hospitalized in the hospital where Dr. Disongo is, is the medical doctor of where she works. So she was the one taking care of, of that, that guy's family member. And during, since he was the one who was also taking care of his, of, of his sick relative, he you know, became familiar with the doctor and they exchanged contacts. So when they exchanged contacts, that's, that was, so that's how he got to know her and he exchanged contacts with her. And he decided when he came up with a scheme, that, okay, he wanted to kidnap somebody, he thought she was the best victim for him to for she was the best person for him to kidnap because he already familiarized himself with her. And probably from the, the, the loose conversations they had in the hospital, he knew that maybe she was looking for a better job offer. And that's why he, he came up with that story, just so that she could be a bit for them to make money. And eventually they said that they never wanted to harm her. They did that only because they wanted money. They wanted her family to pay because her, her father is actually a very wealthy, very a popular or very influential doctor, medical doctor in Cameroon. So that's why the guys thought that, okay, she could, that, that amount of money was actually possible for her family to raise. Unfortunately, the whole thing ended without them getting any money, which is fortunate. Right now they are behind bars, uh, waiting for judgments for, for the crime they committed. And unfortunately for the doctor, one of those guys actually sexually, sexually took advantage of her because when uh, the one who was taking care of her or who was kept to watch over her when she was being kidnapped, um, made it, it, it deceived her and told her that, you know what, I'm, I really want to help you, I want to rescue you, I want to free you from the hands of my friends, but I'll need to sleep with you first. 
So if you agree to sleep with me, I'll make sure that I let you go. And she complied because of the pressure and because she wanted to be free. But even after she slept to the guy, the guy did not let her go. So eventually all these bad, all these uh, um, criminals were caught and they are behind bars. Uh, um, yeah, behind bars waiting, awaiting judgment. The doctor is free and she's healing from the trauma of the incident. So yeah, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section and you'll see me next time for another fresh new story from this part of the world. Bye.